honoring an American hero along I-95 today, an electronic billboard paying tribute to John McCain. The former Republican presidential nominee, the Arizona senator for three decades, the prisoner of war, lost his battle with brain cancer Saturday. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan spent the day at Fort Pierce's Navy SEAL Museum with those talking about McCain's legacy. Fort Pierce is the National Navy UDT SEAL Museum, preserving the history of U.S. Navy SEAL, also honoring the fallen. Today, honoring another. A great man, a great man. Flags at half staff for Senator John McCain, a naval pilot, a leader, and also... You think about Senator McCain, you obviously think about uh, hero. Ken Corona served 32 years in the Navy, never met Senator McCain but honors him for his bravery. I'm sure a lot of dedication on a lot of young guys that decided to go into the military, maybe because of something that John McCain had, had done. And he was a great American. He served his country uh, with distinction, admired him. And that's why our flags, as you see behind me, are at half staff, because uh, that's what we ought to do. We should, we should present those people as, as keynotes of, of the country. And I think we do that very well. This museum also had the privilege of McCain's presence back in 2012, where he spoke on Veterans Affairs. One time and I got a chance to meet him. Rick Kaiser, a former SEAL, continues to serve his country and fellow SEALs as executive director here. He says Senator McCain did the same for all veterans. You have to be in the service and have served in the military to kind of understand what we go through and what the vets go through. And um, Senator John McCain was one of our biggest advocates, so he'll be, he'll be greatly missed. A war hero, a maverick, a patriot, and a fighter. McCain understood, understood that honor and dedication to, to family and to, and to service and to country. So it was fantastic what he did. In Fort Pierce, Alex Hagan, WPTV, News Channel 5.